Well, a contagious virus that's now killed nine people and sickened more than 400 others in China has made its way here to the U.S. The CDC confirms that a Washington state man has the virus and is getting treatment at this hospital in Seattle after traveling to China. He has what's called a coronavirus. The words dominated the headlines today and frankly scared a lot of folks. So what really is the coronavirus and why the concern? Here's our Emily Longnecker with the answers. Well, Andrea, let's explain what is this latest coronavirus. The symptoms are similar to what you see with the flu, runny nose, cough, sore throat, and fever, and those symptoms can turn into pneumonia. The virus was first detected in December in China. It's linked to a food market there that had live animals. Why are doctors so concerned about this latest coronavirus? This coronavirus has the potential to be a super spreader. That means one infected person can spread the virus to dozens of people at once. The CDC is taking this very seriously and screening passengers for the virus at airports in Atlanta, Chicago, New York, San Francisco, and L.A. But experts say diagnosing this virus could be a real challenge. There's nothing really distinctive about this virus from its clinical presentation, which presents a challenge to doctors trying to sort out the difference between a coronavirus infection and, for example, flu. And Andrea, the most severe cases are being seen in older adults with mm -hmm. underlying health conditions, but healthy adults are also getting sick. Now, experts are comparing this to the other super spreader situations. You remember, remember like the SARS oh, virus yes, in 2003 that killed nearly 800 people and spread to over mm -hmm. two dozen countries. We remember that well. All of us still have to be very, very vigilant. Absolutely. More tips on how to stay safe on our website too, right? Absolutely. All right, Emily, thank you.